Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a bridge stamp. Bridge stamp is uh, coming under the Generative Shade Metal Workbench in KTRV5. To start off, go to Mechanical Design, Generative Sheet Metal Design Workbench and go for OK. And firstly set the sheet metal parameters. This is done in order to create a basic sheet metal component on which you need to create the bridge stamp and now create a basic sketch as I always do before and create a basic sketch which you can make a sheet metal wall on so the sheet metal wall is already almost yeah it's ready now and the next thing you need to do basically this bridge is used to hold the component so the main thing you need to have is a point and a sheet metal face. You already do have a sheet metal face and you need to have a point on it. So the basic way to create a point is to select the face on which you need to have a point and find the point tool. Must be hiding here somewhere. So just pull out the different toolbars here. Must be appearing suddenly on the bottom. It always do. Okay you have the point there and just drag out and create a point somewhere here generally you will be uh, giving dimensions for this point so for the sake of explanation this point creation this way will be sufficient so you do have the uh, requirements to create the bridge stamp now now you need to go to insert and go for stamping and the bridge select the bridge this way you could also select it from the toolbar here where you have the stamping or cutting toolbar and the stamping drop down so once you select the bridge stamp nothing appears unlike the other tools which uh, opens up a window so for getting that window you need to do the basic things that is selecting the point and the sheet metal plane and then the window appears and here you can just go for the preview and that creates the basic bridge stamp which you can see here and uh, you could increase the length this way the height so that's all uh, pretty explanatory so the main thing you need to do is to uh, increase or decrease the angle so that it changes the face or the uh, direction it in which the bridge follows and uh, that's all about uh, the that's the important parts and you could see that uh, this is radius 1 and here is radius 2 you could increase or decrease just make sure that you're giving realistic values for the radius and, and uh, the tool is uh, ready to accommodate those radius in that obviously you'll be you'll not be able to give hundreds or two hundreds on this particular small bridge and that's all I hope I have uh, made it clear the last thing is about the relief if you go for the square relief you get the square relief here you could go for the round relief you get the round relief and uh, you have an option to change the parameters which are related to this relief here and uh, that's all about the uh, bridge stamp which is coming under the generative sheet metal design work pension ktv5 i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope this tutorial is helping you in your uh, sheet metal projects and if you have any doubts on this please come below the video and i'll be getting in touch with you you could write to me regarding the cat projects and uh, cat project assistance to ktr.proto user at gmail.com thank you so much for watching and stay tuned